There's an intriguing exoplanet 400 light years out there that is so tantalizing that astronomers have been studying it since its discovery in 2009. It's called WASP 121b, and it's an ultra hot gas giant with a temperature of over 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to boil iron. But what makes this planet even more fascinating is that it's one of the first exoplanets to be mapped and probed by the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful space observatory ever built. And what Webb has found is nothing short of amazing. Traces of water in the planet's atmosphere. How did Webb do that? And what does it mean for our understanding of exoplanets and their potential for life? Let's find out in this video. The James Webb Space Telescope is not only a powerful eye on the universe, but also a versatile tool for exploring the diversity and complexity of exoplanets. Since its launch, Webb has made some surprising and exciting discoveries on exoplanets that challenge our expectations and expand our knowledge. Before we explore the new world of WASP-18b, let's take a quick look at some of the most interesting findings by Webb so far. One of the most anticipated targets for Webb is TRAPPIST-1, a system of seven Earth-sized planets orbiting a red dwarf star about 40 light-years away. Three of these planets are in the habitable zone of the star, where liquid water could exist on the surface. Many astronomers hope that these planets could be potential homes for life, but Webb has observed one of these planets, TRAPPIST-1b, during an eclipse when it passes behind the star from our perspective. By measuring the infrared light that reflects off the planet's surface, Webb has found that TRAPPIST-1b has a temperature of about 400 degrees Fahrenheit and no substantial atmosphere. This suggests that this planet is too hot and dry for life as we know it. Webb will continue to observe the other planets in the system to see if they have more favorable conditions for life. But for now, TRAPPIST-1b seems to be a disappointment for those looking for alien life. Another fascinating target for Webb is HIP-65426b, a gas giant about nine times more massive than Jupiter that orbits a young star about 300 light-years away. This planet is one of the first to be directly imaged by Webb using its coronagraph, which blocks the bright light of the star and reveals the fainter light of the planet. The image shows that HIP-65426b has a bright spot on its day side, which could be caused by thermal emission or clouds reflecting starlight. Webb also measured the spectrum of the planet, revealing that it has a lot of methane and water vapor in its atmosphere. These observations tell us more about how gas giants form and evolve around young stars. They also show us how beautiful and diverse exoplanets can be. WASP-18b is one of the first exoplanets to be mapped by Webb using transmission spectroscopy. It's a gas giant about 10 times more massive than Jupiter, and it orbits very close to its star, completing one orbit in less than 23 hours. WASP-18b is a very interesting target because it's an ultra-hot Jupiter, meaning that it has a very high temperature and a very low albedo. Its temperature is so high that it can boil iron, and its albedo is so low that it reflects almost no light. It also has no winds to redistribute heat to its night side, making it very different from other gas giants. Webb's detection of water on WASP-18b was a surprise because water is not expected to survive in such extreme conditions. Water molecules should be broken apart by the intense radiation from the star or escape from the planet's gravity. But Webb found traces of water at different elevations in the planet's atmosphere, suggesting that water can persist even in such harsh environments. Webb also measured the temperature and pressure of the planet's atmosphere at different wavelengths. By comparing these measurements with models of how the atmosphere behaves under different conditions, astronomers were able to create a map of the temperature and pressure distribution on WASP-18b. The map revealed that WASP-18b has a very uniform temperature distribution on its day side, with no hot spots or cold spots. The temperature is about 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hotter than most stars. The map also showed that WASP-18b has a very high pressure on its day side, reaching up to one million times the pressure on Earth. The pressure drops sharply on the night side, creating a huge contrast between the two hemispheres. These findings are important because they show that Webb can measure the temperature and pressure of exoplanet atmospheres with unprecedented precision and detail. 
They also provide new insights into the physics and chemistry of ultra-hot Jupiters, which are very common in our galaxy. WASP-18b is not a habitable planet by any means. It's too hot, too big, and too close to its star for life as we know it to exist. But it's still a valuable case study for the search for life on other exoplanets. Webb's detection of water on WASP-18b shows that it can detect water on other exoplanets as well, especially those that are cooler and more Earth-like. Webb is going to observe dozens of exoplanets in the coming years, including some that orbit in the habitable zone of their stars, where liquid water could exist on the surface. Of course, finding biosignatures is not enough to confirm life. There could be other explanations for their presence, such as geological or atmospheric processes. To confirm life, we would need more evidence, such as direct imaging or communication. But finding biosignatures would be a huge step forward in our quest to answer one of the most fundamental questions in science. Are we alone in the universe? But when will Webb start searching for habitable planets? Well, Webb will observe some potentially habitable exoplanets. These include Trappist-1, E, and F, two rocky planets in the habitable zone of their red dwarf star, LHS-1140b, a rocky planet around another red dwarf star, and K-218b, a mini-Neptune with water vapor in its atmosphere. Webb will also observe some promising candidates for future studies, such as Proxima Centauri b, the closest exoplanet to Earth, and GJ-357d, a super-Earth in the habitable zone of its star. Webb will also observe some exoplanets that are not habitable, but could help us understand how planets form and evolve in different environments. These include WASP-79b, a gas giant with no clouds, HD-80606b, a gas giant with an extremely eccentric orbit, and au b, a planet around a very young star. These observations will open a new window into the diversity and complexity of worlds beyond our solar system, and most importantly, bring us closer to answering one of the most profound questions in human history. Are we alone? We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about exoplanets and web. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions about exoplanets and web. Thank you for watching and see you next time.